Hey everybody, George Fennell, Steel Shield Technologies, Weapon Shield. We're kind of doing this on the fly. We don't have our ready, uh, ready, regular video camera set up. We're using the iPad. But just to satisfy a couple of people's concerns, actually quite a few people's concerns out there, they've asked us about, you know, well, how does uh, G96 synthetic gun oil, which is the mil-spec approved gun oil, which meets MIL-PERF-63460E, not the D, the E. We meet the E as well, which is a little, it's a little less strenuous um, certification method and mill spec, um, you know, for the weapons. And it's, I, I think it's a better spec also. But anyhow, um, without really going into detail on this, because we just want to make this quick and show you, we prepared the bearing in the race, just like we always do in every one of our videos. We have a new Tim Contest roll in there, a tapered roller bearing. We have redressed and resurfaced our, our raceway. And what we'll do is we'll take, make sure that's shaken up very well. I don't know that it says shake well, but we give everything the benefit of the doubt. Like I said, non-condemning test. This basically sets a standard. We're going to use this and set this, and we'll see where it sets on the scale, and then we'll do weapon shield against it and see where it goes. So right now I'm going to take and coat that bearing, or that raceway, as we do in every one of these. Set this down, and now we'll apply the pressure, 35 to 1. And right about three, three and a half pounds it seized. One more time. Okay. If you take a look, you can see that bearing. And you see the gall mark that's on there. And it's very, very dull. It's almost like it's just been ground out. And the metal off of this has been actually deposited on here. And also there's many, many tiny little metal flakes that are laying on the tray down at the bottom. All I'm going to do is take a clean paper towel. I'm just going to wipe the excess of the G96 off and wipe it off here. I'm going to take the weapon shield, put a drop of weapon shield out over all this galling that you see on there. Because I want to make a point of something here real quick. Same deal. We come right down to failure point. Right there, actually, that's a little beyond failure point. We'll go to twice failure point. Right now, the weapon shield is relapping and reworking that surface to a smoother, actually, under the boundary conditions, it's rolling out the asperities. And there's, there's 25 pounds. Now I want to show you something. Take a look at the spot. Before it was dull, I don't know if Matt can get an angle on it to see that it's shiny. It's been, it's been lapped, it's been rolled out, and basically it's resurfaced, rehardened. So that the wear pattern has stopped. Weapon Shield basically uh, incorporates the advanced boundary film. The advanced boundary film sets up, recreates that surface, and sets up a boundary condition that withstands enormous pressures, as you could see. That was about 1,800 pounds uh, on that area right there, which is quite larger than point to point. But my point is, uh, as people want to see, where does this go on extreme pressure? What does it do um, for anti-wear? It's average, okay? Weapon shield's far above average. So we'll take and throw this up and um, let you guys see it and decide for yourselves. So. Thanks very much. Once again, visit us at www.weaponshield.com. Uh, our list of suppliers, order online is on there. You can get Weapon Shield just about anywhere. Um, thanks very much, and we'll see you next time. This is George Fennell. Bye-bye.